from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the real Conway Report. Energy engineered products Multi Alloys and E Metals Cape have joined forces under the EMV Africa umbrella to create what they call a dynamic single source solutions provider and service suits. Simone Litka gives us the details. Officially launched in April this year, EMV Africa director Graham Whitty tells Engineering News about the journey on the sidelines of the launch event and what exactly it is that the company hopes to achieve. I guess our journey started two or three years ago and we started thinking to ourselves that we've developed and grown three businesses, three main businesses, and within that we'd also developed a few sub-brands and it began to feel a bit cumbersome and it was starting to be difficult for us to communicate with our customers what we did, who, which parts of our different businesses did which things and to a degree there was a bit of overlap as well. So it became quite confusing and also it became difficult to invest in all of these brands at the same time and also we were competing with ourselves in the marketplace. So it really came to a point where we felt that we needed to do something to consolidate our businesses and consolidate our brand um, and then quite a lengthy journey unfolded actually to try and find the right brand for us, what to keep, what not to keep, um, which is difficult for businesses that have been established for a while because you become very invested in the old brand. So to give it up uh, is quite difficult. Um, nevertheless, we, we persevered and we had some very good professional help along the way. Um, and hence the launch of EMV Africa. Even though the company is operating in an industry that's not generally well known for delivering good service, Witty is positive that EMV Africa's attempt at rectifying this has been successful so far thanks to the company's 3S Solutions approach. I do think it's been successful. We focus on, on service, stock and solutions. And that's really how we go about delivering a package which adds value. Our industry is difficult to offer uh, high levels of service uh, because of the nature of the product. Stocking it is difficult. It comes uh, with long lead times from mills all around the world. Having the right stock on the floor at the right time is a real challenge. And of course our customers feel that when we don't get it right. So the criticism is, is of ourselves as much as it is of our competitors and the industry as a whole. But there are ways to work around that and that comes with experience, it comes with commitment and it comes with having the right people, the right level of training and experience. Uh, and because we've been in the industry a long time and our founders have been in the industry even longer, uh, we have a great degree of, of experience and with time we've managed to refine our processes and what we do and build up a really industry leading team to deliver on that and that's how we go about offering uh, service and I believe it has worked because we're still here and despite challenging times in our country and our, in our industry in particular we've managed to grow uh, our business quite consistently over the last decade or so. While EMV Africa does import quite a lot of its materials, localization has not been forgotten. Here, where to elaborate for us a bit on how exactly the company achieves this. First of all, we supply a lot of engineering materials. So while we are importing them, um, essentially because there is no local manufacture of them, a lot of those materials in themselves go to local manufacturers who are then producing locally. So without that product, they themselves would not be able to make a product locally. So we support, if you like, a manufacturing industry who then will localize. Our valve business in particular does offer some opportunities for developing local products. So over the last uh, three years we've had uh, quite an extensive R&D program to develop some patented products um, and we're hoping that in the next 18 months or so we'll have a significant announcement to make in, in some products which, which will fit into the local manufacture of valves. Other news making headlines Vodacom reports full-year profit decline, but rise in service revenue. Vodacom has posted music growth in earnings and a rise in service revenue for the financial year ended March 31st. Looking at some of the key highlights for the group, the financial impacts of delivering on our promise of further reducing the cost to communicate in South Africa, combined with costs associated with concluding our new 16.4 billion rand BE deal, masks and otherwise solid operational performance for the group, where revenue grew by 4.3%.
This was led by strong performance in our international portfolio, offset by a slowdown in South Africa due to our deliberate uh, data pricing transformation efforts. Excluding the impact of the BE deal, you will note that operating profit grew 7,4%, benefiting from the inclusion of Safaricom in our numbers. Data revenue grew a healthy 6% to 27,3 billion rand, despite the impact from changes in regulation in South Africa. We added 6 million customers during the year to reach a base of 110 million customers, including Safaricom, a growth rate of 5,8%. At the same time, Vodacom invested close to 13 billion rand in networks and IT infrastructure to ensure superior customers, uh, customer and network experience across our footprint. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.